What's up everyone? My name is Alyssa Sincata and today we are checking out the Westcott FJ200 and we are on the side of a road, a really busy road, so um, this should be fun. So today we are looking at the new Westcott S bracket. Brilliant. Like why did nobody come up with this sooner? So you've got this piece. So this goes right in here and you can put this on all, all of the, um, like the FJ400, FJ200, and you just twist this on, tighten it, and you keep this on. So you don't have to keep switching all these tools when you're trying to use soft boxes. So any Bowens mount will mount to this S bracket. And you can also use umbrellas, and it also has three uh, cold shoe mounts. So you could uh, mount the FJ80 to this as well and get three lights out of that. So what's cool about this, this lives on your unit as long as you need it to whenever. And you've got your S bracket right here put your light in just slides right in and then you tighten it into place and it's good wham bam thank you bam now we're ready to rock so this is awesome uh, I've got the what is it the switch or the rapid box switch Octa M so what we're gonna do here I was driving around earlier today and I saw this wooden American flag on the side of the road and hey 4th of July is coming up let's do some couples portraits in front of the flag on the side of the road We'll see what, what happens. Let's do this. We, it's about, I don't know, like seven o'clock. So the sun's starting to set behind the flag. Again, this is an easy portrait to do with natural light where everything's blown out. It's light and airy. It's gonna be gorgeous. I personally love those pictures, but adding strobe into the picture, into the image, completely changes the mood here. So. Um, I'm using the FJ80 as my trigger. So again, all you have to do is put the FJ80 into post mode, and that is gonna trigger the FJ200, which would be the client. But first, actually, before we get started adding any strobe, I wanna get a test shot to see what I want the scene to look like. So you always wanna expose for the scene before adding the artificial light in. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the Canon EOS R5 and the Canon RF7200. Uh, I'm going to be shooting this at f2.8. Uh, I like a really shallow depth of field to really compress that flag in the background. We've got all this gorgeous grass in front of us to have some eye candy in the front. We got eye candy in the back, and then of course this couple. They're beautiful. So it's going to be a gorgeous image. I want this like fun, light-hearted feel to this, to this shot. So, like I said before, let's get dialed in first with a test shot to see what the scene's going to look like, and then I will add this as my trigger to throw in the FJ200. A shot. So that's that's kind of the scene right there. So the background doesn't look terrible, but they are a little too dark. So what I would do here, if I were shooting natural light, is overexpose. But if I want the rich colors of the flag, I have to darken it in camera and throw in the FJ200 to add that fill of light on our subject. So let's try it. So what's cool about this is I don't have to be running back and forth to adjust the exposure or the power on the FJ200. I can just come in here and go up in power. I know I need to go to nine. Hit okay. Let's take another test shot. Okay, so that's a wrap, it's that easy. We've got the FJ80 as a trigger right now, so I put this into post mode and that's gonna fire the FJ200 that I've got with the um, Rapid Box Octa M. Um, the whole point here was to make something look like natural light. I don't want this to look artificial, but if I don't have the strobe in here, I'm not gonna get the richness of the colors in the flag. So um, without strobe, it's just this bright blown out picture, which is, it's nice, it is but it's just not the feel I was going for with this. So um, definitely check this out. I mean, the Westcott system is 
so smooth. And with that, um, with that new S bracket, the ease of just having that one little piece on your strobe, so you don't, you don't have to take it off. And it's not intrusive at all, so you can put that in your bag. It's all so portable and so easy to use. Again, I'm, like I said, it's a no-brainer. When we saw this thing, we were like, wow, why did it take so long for somebody to come up with this? So anyway, FJ80, FJ200, and the Westcott system for lighting is just beautiful. Check it out.